they're some of the biggest and busiest places on Earth. In 2019, the last normal year before the world change, they collectively handled over 60 million tons of freight and more than 4 billion passengers. That's right, 4 billion people. But airports aren't just places to catch a flight anymore. They've evolved into many cities, complete with massive terminals, control towers, multiple runways, hotels, shops, car parks, maintenance hangars, and logistics facilities. Thousands of staff work around the clock to keep these behemoths running. But here's the thing, their scale is so insane, it's almost impossible to fathom. So, we're going to break it down for you. We'll compare these airports to easily relatable references, think football stadiums, city blocks, and even entire countries. By the end of this video, you'll see these airports in a whole new light. Let's start with the part of the airport we all know best, the terminals. Once simple waiting areas, they've now become destinations in their own right. Some are so massive, they're among the largest buildings on the planet. Take Istanbul Airport's main terminal, for example. It boasts a staggering 1.4 million square meters under a single roof. That's like stacking 200 football fields on top of each other. But it's not alone. Dubai International's Terminal 3 takes things even further, with 1.7 million square meters spread across three interconnected buildings. To put that into perspective, that's 2.7 times the floor space of the Pentagon. But here's the twist. These terminals aren't just big for the sake of it. Their size is driven by something far more critical, something that lies just outside their walls. The real heart of any airport isn't the terminal, it's the runways. These strips of tarmac are where planes take off and land, and their length can make or break an airport's capacity. Most runways sit between 2.4 and 3.9 kilometers long, but there's one that blows them all out of the water. Hidden on the Tibetan Plateau in China, the little-known Kamdo Bamba Airport once held the title for the world's longest runway at a jaw-dropping 5.5 kilometers. That's longer than two Golden Gate bridges laid end-to-end. -end. But here's the catch, extreme weather conditions forced its closure, and the title now belongs to Moscow's Zhukovsky International, with a 5.4-kilometer runway. To visualize that, imagine the distance from Rockefeller Center, through Central Park, and into Harlem. Or, if you prefer, picture 61 Antonov and 225s, the world's largest cargo plane, lined up wing to wing. Now, here's where things get interesting. You might think the world's busiest airports are also the largest, but that's not always the case. Take Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International, for example. From 1998 to 2019, it was the world's busiest airport, serving over 110 million passengers annually, equivalent to the entire population of the Philippines. But in 2020, it lost the top spot to Guangzhou's Beiyun International due to the pandemic. Despite its busyness, Atlanta's airport covers just 19 square kilometers, that's 39 times the size of Disneyland but still 7 times smaller than the Denver International Airport which is more than twice the size of Manhattan. But wait, there's more. While Atlanta handles the most passengers, the title for the busiest cargo airport belongs to Memphis International, thanks to the explosive growth of e-commerce. Some airports don't just expand, they literally create new land. Take Hong Kong International, for example. In the 1990s, the airport reclaimed nearly 10 square kilometers of land from the ocean, Today, it covers 12.5 square kilometers, representing more than 1% of Hong Kong's entire landmass. But here's the kicker, with a recent 6.5 square kilometer land reclamation project, the airport now represents a whopping 7.16% of Hong Kong's built-up area. That's right, this single airport takes up over 7% of the city's developed land. And if that's not impressive enough, consider this. Not every city can expand so easily. Some have to get creative. For cities like London, the solution isn't one massive airport, it's multiple airports working in tandem. London has six commercial airports, which together processed over 180 million passengers in 2019. 
That's enough to send every British citizen on three overseas holidays. Combined, these airports cover more than 30 square kilometers, equivalent to everything north of the Thames, from the Isle of Dogs up to Stratford and as far west as Hyde Park. For football fans, that's 461 Wembley stadiums. But even London's combined airports pale in comparison to the world's largest airport, a place so vast, it's bigger than 23 sovereign states. Located in Dammam, Saudi Arabia, King Fahd International is the largest airport in the world by area. How large, you ask? Try 776 square kilometers. That's bigger than Bahrain and larger than 23 sovereign nations. If it were its own country, it would rank 173rd in the world. But here's the twist, despite its enormous size, it only serves around 10 million passengers annually. So, why is it so big? During the Gulf War, the United States and coalition forces used it as a military base and storage facility. Today, only 36.7 square kilometers are used for operations. But what does the future hold for these colossal airports? As international travel rebounds post-pandemic, the aviation industry is expected to experience a massive bounce. Airports are already planning for the future, with expansions, new technologies, and even more ambitious designs. Could we soon see airports that dwarf even King Fahd International? Will the terminals of the future be even more luxurious and efficient? And how will these hubs adapt to the growing demand for sustainable travel? The answers to these questions could redefine the very concept of an airport. From the busiest hubs to the largest runways, and from land reclamation to multi-airport cities, the world's airports are feats of engineering, logistics, and human ingenuity. They're not just places to catch a flight, they're cities within cities, constantly evolving to meet the demands of a connected world. So, the next time you're wandering through a terminal or waiting on the tarmac, take a moment to appreciate the sheer scale and complexity of these modern marvels. Because when it comes to airports, the truth is often stranger and bigger than fiction. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through the world's largest airports, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible insights. And let us know in the comments, what's the most impressive airport you've ever visited?